Hello and welcome to this uh, new video of the glimpses to into a frag first set of draft ESRS. My name is Eric Duvaux. I'm a member of the sustainability reporting tag uh, at a frag and I will present to you today the draft ESRS E1 climate change. The purpose of this video is to explain the content of this standard, which is mandatory to all large undertakings uh, subjected to the CSRD. Under the climate change standard, undertakings shall disclose how they intend to transition towards a sustainable low carbon economy, which basically means reducing their greenhouse gas emissions and adapting their strategy and business models to become more resilient to climate change risks. E1 covers climate change mitigation and adaptation and the energy topic. Undertakings are required to disclose whether and how they have defined a transition plan, including a greenhouse gas emission reduction target compatible with a 1.5 degree scenario. Scenario analysis should inform the assessment of the impact, risk and opportunities, the analysis of the resilience of the undertaking, the setting of the greenhouse gas emission reduction targets, and the assessment of the potential financial effects from the physical and transition risks and opportunities. Then the management of impact risk and opportunities uh, section requires to disclose any policies, action plans and resources, including how these resources are consistent with the taxonomy CAPEX and OPEX. When uh, disclosing any greenhouse gas emission reduction targets, undertakings are required to describe the expected decarbonization levels, exclu excluding removals and carbon credits, as well um, as the overall quantita quantitative contributions of these uh, decarboni decarbonization levels to achieve the, the said targets. Energy consumption and its split between non-renewable and renewable resources are required, required metrics, as well as greenhouse gas emissions, including scope three greenhouse, greenhouse gas emissions from material greenhouse gas protocol categories. Last but not least, the connectivity between financial statements and sustainability statements is a cornerstone of this standard. Climate related financial disclosures from the financial statements are required under ESRS2 when E1 requires the disclosure of potential financial effects from physical and transition risks and opportunities. This includes the amount and the list of current net assets at physical risk the amount of current net assets at transition risk, what we usually call uh, uh, stranded assets, and the real estate assets by energy efficiency classes. Also, the potential liabilities from emission, regulated emissions trading schemes and from contractual commitments to purchase carbon credits, for instance. And finally, the share of revenues from activities exposed to physical and to transition risks. Have a good reading and a, uh, have a look at the 20 minutes educational session as well on the climate change standard. Thank you.